Yes, and this is uh, Ihama. Simon Ihama of Switzerland, European Under-23 champion earlier on this year. He wasn't in Tokyo, but he won the European Under-23 title on the 9th of July in Tallinn with his personal best of 8 metres 10. He's actually a decathlete. He's an 8,200-point-plus decathlete. Good technician, too. That's a nice jump from him. Yeah, he had a poor competition in Gotsus, didn't he? And, and uh, didn't register a mark, didn't, didn't qualify for Tokyo. And uh, sadly for him, but uh, decent start. Stephen McCarter, American, who's uh, not that familiar. And uh, not a regular on the Diamond League circuit. All sorts of injuries in his early career. He uh, shares a coach with Tara Davis. But certainly the second half of the season been one which uh, he's uh, been enjoying. Won the long jump in Brussels with 7.99. Not often you win a Diamond League with 7.99, Tim. But, uh, let's hope that uh, they can go a fair bit further than that here tonight. That's not a bad beginning for him. We saw Ihama with that uh, 7.94. 7.98, so he proves and goes into the lead. There was a no jump. He's definitely in uh, good form, and Montla looks as though he might have taken the lead there. We're yet to see anyone go above eight metres. Just checking in the last couple of strides there, but looked as though he's certainly got a white flag. So Montler then, that comes up as eight metres and eight centimetres. So he takes a fairly early lead here in the second round, the only man over eight metres so far. Bink have ever gone higher. Come back to that. Long jump. Stefan McCarter then went down the qualifying in Tokyo. He has the lead with 7.98 in round two, and that looks better. That yep. looks better. The lead actually with Montclair at 8.08 in round two. McCarter 7.95 and then 7.98. Remember, he won Brussels. Last Friday with 7.99, as Steve mentioned, gives away a couple of inches on the board there, five centimetres, that matters not. It's a good effort. McCarter, his lifetime best is 8.26. That was back in uh, early March, can you believe, in Austin, Texas. 8.14, and that does take the lead by six centimetres from Montclair of Sweden. Just those two beyond eight metres. So, so on the long jump, uh, Samai, who's had a bit of a disappointing period, including at the Olympic Games. South African, capable of such long jumps. Wow, and that, if he gets a white flag, could uh, challenge the lead. 8.14 for Stefan McCarter. Just wondering where that's going to get measured. Look at that on the board, right on the board. Couldn't be any better for Samai. He's already looking, wasn't he? He kind of knew it hit the board and just wonder whether he thought that was better than it's come up at 7.99. It certainly looked better. To the officials, I think there might have been nine fingers up. 209 or is it 210 as we go to this uh, long jump competition and uh, Samai in round four in third place at the moment was 799 that was in round three and so, sorry interrupt uh, Tim just so that uh, Samai is not going to affect the uh, positions at the moment I don't think uh, she's gone for 28 Seems a bit odd. 208. That's a uh, personal best, I think. It, well, yes, That's 206 all is that best. Signifies. The 27 would be personal best. Diamond League record is 206. Significance of 208. Is it a national record? Well, she's uh, because of. Um, uh, Chichero versus 2 7, so yes, it would yes. be a national record. Thank you very much. You buy the beers tonight. As ever. For the first time. <laughs> ever. Montclair then. 8 8 in round two. He's in second place. That looked useful. That looks okay. He's having a close look at it, and these fellas 
usually know within a centimeter or two, centimeter or two of what they've jumped. 8.08 in round two, 8.03 in round three, but he saw McCarter go out to 8.14 with his third round effort. Still just this pair, the American and Montclair, McCarter and uh, the American and the Swede, McCarter and Montclair, over eight meters. 8.12, well it was worth a look, and he's two centimeters shy of the lead. Ah. Here's McCarter. He had two torn hamstrings in 2017 and 2018. Also had a tumor removed, had surgery to remove a tumor. He had a horrible period at the beginning of his career. A bit flat there, wasn't he? He doesn't get the height of some of the others. Just powers his way off the board. So two centimeters between McCarter and Montler now. You know the uh, pressure is now there. Two more rounds to go. But he's still in the lead. 8-12, so he doesn't improve, but it's a good backup, isn't it? It's a good second best. Well, the bar. Palacio is at 207. You might be able to hear that in the background. We've been so close to taking the lead earlier on in the fifth round. Manages to sneak it. The Swede who's, has been in uh, great form, and I mentioned earlier, was so close to nicking a medal at the right at the end of that Olympic competition. Tonight, I, I think he would have looked at this field and thought, yeah, I can win this tonight. Just have to put in a couple of solid jumps. Well, he's done eight, 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 three, eight, twelve, and now in round five, eight, fifteen to take the lead by one centimeter from McCarter, the American who'd held the lead pretty much throughout. He led early on. Montles took it away in round two. He took it back in round three. And now it's the Swede back in charge. So we're into the final round. Montler leads from McCarter, Samai in third. But this is Juska, who's in sixth place. Radek Juska. Yes, yeah, 787 for uh, the Czech. Is the Czech champion. Didn't jump in Tokyo, although he has jumped to 811 this year. And he's an 831 jumper at his best. That was four years ago. So this is uh, a man who hasn't hit his straps too often at the right time this year. 766 for fourth in Rovereto just last week. 788 in the Czech Republic and Brno the week before that. But he just cannot get those big marks out there. Not at this stage of the season. 787 in round five, his best to this point, and it remains his best because this sixth round effort for the Czech Radek Juska, 767, a consistent series, but it's quite some way down that sort of plateau of performance he's produced here uh, on what he's capable of. Just can't find the key to be getting it right here tonight. Holds the national record with 8.31 from that performance in Taipei City back in 2017. But in tonight, finishes in sixth place with Randazzo of Italy in seventh. So this is Benjamin Gaffurla. 7.90 in fifth place at the moment. That's not too far off his season's best. He is a eight metre jumper. He goes back now. But Swiss in front of his home crowd there trying to give it his best, but that one I don't think, well, I'm pretty sure that's not going to improve his position. He would have had to go 794 to get ahead of his multi eventing compatriot, E Hammer, who's in fourth place. 775 to finish for Kefirla, so he'll stay in fifth. His teammate to go next. I think, Tim, in the Diamond League final anyway, the uh, host can, uh, there are some places available for them to put a, a home athlete in, not in all of the events. It's common, isn't it, in yes. our sport, you know, to give the home crowd some home athlete to focus upon. Makes an awful lot of sense. Now, Simon Ihama, or Simon Ihama, 794 is open, and that seems a long time ago. He's been peppering that region in the round 6, 760, 770 since. Sixth and final effort, he's in fourth place, the Swiss. 
Ooh, that might be slightly better. No, 794 was his opener, and he fouls out there, I'm afraid. Be it was better see, than it was. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see. He's such a good long jumper. You know, that's a great thing to have the speed as a multi eventer. Mm. He struggled with the pole vault um, over the last couple of years. In the European indoors in Turun, he was in a great position in the competition, good position, and then he no heighted in the pole vault. Oh. Um, and as I said, his gut just didn't go so well for him either, so we didn't see him in Tokyo on the decathlon. But he's only 21. Um, he's going to improve, get stronger, get better. And when you've got a good long jump, as uh, he has, always good to have that in your pocket. I suppose as a decathlete, you just cannot afford to have one poor event as an Achilles heel. It's a bit like being a middle distance run, not having a sprint. And I can tell you all about that, Steve. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Samai. Riswell Samai in third place with 7.99, but he's quite a long way shy of Makata in second with 8.14 and Montblair with that 8.15 that came in round five. South African champion, went out and qualifying in Tokyo. His season's best 8.16 would do very nicely because the lead from Montblair, remember, 8.15. Oh, I think just shy of eight metres. A little adjustment there from Samai as he approached the ball. He generates so much speed. I think he was getting too close to what he had. A little glance down there. Just a tiny glance down. Made that adjustment in his last two or three strides. And that does compromise your jump. 7.74, his closer. He's had uh, three efforts well beyond that, but his best 7.99 came in round three, and he does finish in third place. So the American then, Stefan McCarter from Texas, says he wants to go into coaching. And loves the idea of helping others develop, and he's uh, certainly developed himself this year. Throws himself through the pit, as I said, he doesn't get as much height as many of the long jumpers do. Sort of powers his way through it, but he's... For a long time thought he had this in the bag, 8.14. Montler took it by one, that sent to beat. Another eight meter jump for the American though, eight meters four. So a pretty good series. Everything between 7.95 and 8.14, six attempts. Pretty solid but he's going to have to settle for second place. And going back to what you said, Tim, for if he'd won here tonight, one centimetre shy, he would have been guaranteed a spot at the World Championships next year in an event which in America, you know, you can jump 8.30 and, or 8.40 and not make the team. No, absolutely right, yeah. One centimetre. McCarter went on qualifying in Tokyo. I mean, he did make the US team for Japan. He was third in the US trials, but... Montclair has the win in the bag. The Swede will take home the money and the diamond. Can he improve yet further here? Oh, ho, ho. I think he can. Well, like Spanovic in the women's long jump, who produced 6.96 with, uh, in the final round. She already had the win in the bag. I think Montclair's just done pretty much the same. 8.17, he finds another couple of centimetres, just under an inch, to uh, win by three centimetres from Stefan McCarter, who congratulates him here. Great contest. And I like this format, Steve, actually, of mixing up the men and the women together. I think it's, 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 it works. It's not complicated, it's easy to understand. I think with six athletes, it's fine. If you had 12, yeah, good it's point. a long time to wait between jumps. Apart from that, though, it's a but great apart idea. From that, what have the Romans ever done for us? <laughs> don't, don't get me started. Wine, drainage. <laughs> I don't Actually, this city was founded by the Romans. Did you know that? Uh, you know me. Obviously, you'll say you did, but you won't admit you didn't. I know you. Well, Steve, your highlight of the evening? It has to be the high jump. I, I, I'm thoroughly enthralled by that women's high jump.